Hey there, Musketeers. Kate from Princess Mini here. I'm back. New ears today, same sweatshirt, because I am obsessed with it. And I am also super obsessed with the Boo Hollow Paka Paka series. Now, if you have not been caught up on which of these cuties I've been opening, then definitely go back, check my playlist in the description box below, and make sure to watch those videos in order so you don't, you know, ruin any mysteries for yourself. And yeah, this video will still be here when you're done. So today we are going to open up two Boo Hollow Paka Pakas. And then we are also going to open two purpley boxes. We have yet another painted pumpkins. I've been really enjoying opening these slowly with you guys through the season. And then we have my final box of Tsum Tsum Villains. You might know that I'm so close to being done with this set and there is one pin that just is evading me. Do you remember which pin it is? <sighs> Let me show you the options, give you some time to guess, and then we're just gonna start by opening this up and seeing if we can finally finish this darn set. Halloween uh, on my channel has been giving me tons of treats in the form of not too many doubles, but it has been a little bit tricky. I haven't been able to complete any series yet. Could today be the day I could complete both of these series today with enough luck? Wish it to me from the future. Okay, do you remember now which one I still have never ever been able to open? Dr. Facilier. Ah, he's such a great villain too. I love his song, Friends on the Other Side. Love, love, love that one. And now, so my perfect box would be him and then Maleficent in her dragon form. Really, I'm gonna be happy with whatever is in here because I think everything is awesome and they make really fantastic traders, especially because I don't feel like I see these on a lot of pin boards because this was slightly older, maybe. So, there might be some people out there who are new to collecting or they've also been trying to complete their sets and maybe we can help each other if I don't get, what is he called, the Shadow Man today. First pin, Let's see if I can tell who it is from the back. You will, you will know because I'm opening it. Oh, I definitely know who this is because that that is a commanding hairstyle. That is, I'd like to speak to your manager, but in like the 1700s hairstyle, that's gotta be Lady Tremaine. Yes, okay. I love how they did her eyes. Her eyes are lime green and her eyeshadow is like bright purple. Oh my God, I'm just realizing like she's the original Karen. You know what I mean? All love to, to, to real Karens out there. I'm just talking about, you know, the metaphorical Karens. And so I love that they, they really did that poppy eye for her to really be true Disney villain colors. I love her hair. It's so high. She's so, what do they say? The higher the hair, the closer to God. She must be so close. No, not really. Um, <laughs> but I just love everything about this, including her raised eyebrow. Phenomenal. Phenomenal pin, even though I already have it. Phenomenal. <laughs> One chance left. He has a very, very uh, recognizable silhouette with that hat. So I think I will know it. No, but we got another Maleficent, this time in her human form, and I'm happy to see it. This is very darling. I love the colors. She's fantastic. And uh, we started out with a lot of girl power today, maybe too much girl power, you know, a little bit too much, if you know what I mean. But she's phenomenal. I love how they did this pin. She's a Tsum Tsum, so she's cute, but she's also a little bit fierce, you know, like any good villain. So ready to open up these two, pa I know I only have one in my hand, but I have two. Uh, these two Paka Pakas to show you, I got one of my absolute like musts in the last video that I opened these in. So I feel like we're getting to the point where we could start getting doubles. And I'm just kind of hoping for anything that I haven't already gotten. This is such a cute idea. I have loved so many of the Paka Paka series, but this one seems extra special to me. And I would honestly order this 
in any kind of like holiday set. Give me a Christmas set, give me a Valentine's Day set, give me a 4th of July set, give me a St. Patrick's Day set. You get the point, Easter. I want them all. All right. Last time one of these was this hard to open, it was a really great like Chase version. So we can hope that is what this means. <gasps> no, okay, but it's a new one. And it's definitely one that I had on my wish list. We have got a cauldron. I don't think this is the glitter or glow in the dark version. It's definitely not the glitter version. I don't think it's the glow in the dark version, um, which would be like a ultra rare or something we'll, we'll look <laughs> and, and see what the real terminology is and uh but i i don't care i love this i think this is super cute it will really kind of expand the scene of boo hollow that i'm collecting let's get a little bit of information on the cauldron the call okay the cauldron is actually called newt that's very cute Newt is cute. And it says he's always, oh, okay, so that makes sense. The cauldron has eyes, the cauldron is like the living thing. And I don't know, that just escaped me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Of course the cauldron is like the creature. So <laughs> Newt is always cooking up something creepy. And there's a quote that says, a little more eye of Newt. Okay, cute, I like it. So Newt is a common, which makes him one in 12. He's my second common. And if I, if we had gotten the glow, that would have been called hyper rare. Um, and that would have been a one in 36. I don't think he looks like he glows at all. Our final Boo Hollow figure for this video. I will let you know that I have two left for a later video in our series. We're really kind of getting closer and closer to Halloween now, aren't we? All right, so many I'm still hoping for, so just hopefully not a double. Not only is it not a double, but I think we just got a chase. Oh my God, so not as rare as a hyper rare, but a chase. Oh my God, this is so cool. He is black and white and he is one of my absolute favorite Halloween creatures. My first favorite Halloween creature is a skeleton, which is why I'm being a skeleton for Halloween this year. It's just classic. My second is zombies. And in fact, I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to horror movies. Don't even talk to me about horror movies, but I can watch some zombie things. I watched Walking Dead for a long time until I just kind of got bored of it because I felt like they focused more on the people than the zombies. Um, and then I have watched some of the scary zombie horror movies. I also like the Halloween movies. I do like Michael Myers and I don't know why, um, but the rest of them, no thank you, no thank you. He, however, is perfect. I love that he's in black and white. Now I will say, that the color version of him is less rare. In fact, I think it's a common. And if I got the common, I'd also be really excited because then he would totally fit in with the rest of the characters. So I would probably even consider trading this one. And I would even trade for something that was maybe like potentially even like a less rare character just to get the ones I wanted. There is still one chase I'm hoping for though. So let's talk about him he is a chase that makes him one in 18. he's so cool i am just digging the exposed brain on him so much and then let's learn a little bit about our zombie oh okay his name is zeke and he's a graveyard dweller who loves the freedom of the zombie life which would really explain his big wide grin that Zeke and Newt are both just like such great additions to Boo Hollow, uh, my Boo Hollow. I love them and I hope that I get, you know, two other awesome ones so I can really round out the village and show you guys like a day or two around Halloween. Um, I do know someone else who's opening these, so potentially if I get doubles, we can swap and then I can really show you even more. But we'll see. So far, I've only gotten one double. That is incredible luck, I think. And I, I, like, shockingly, I opened that, them in the same video. Like, what are the odds of that? Okay, painted pumpkin time. I feel like our luck has only increased as we've gone through this video. So I'm going to say that I might get lucky, extra lucky today, and get the final pin I need from this set, 
which is flounder. Now I've said before in a video that I think he looks a little bit more like a pear. I know that pumpkins and you know gourds in general come in lots of shapes but not like the shape that we traditionally expect our pumpkins to come in um, where it's you know a little more flat or it's a little more shrunken in on the top and rounded on the bottom. It's just a little more pear shaped to me which is a great shape just not like a traditional car let's carve a pumpkin and put it out on the front step shape. A perfect box for me would be Flounder and the Alien. And the worst box for me would be Cheshire and Duffy. Because those are the only two? No, I've gotten them twice and I've also gotten Jack and Oogie twice. So I guess Jack and Oogie would also not be super great. Although I do think they would trade very well. Okay, first pin. Let's see, ooh, this feels small. This feels small. Not quite small enough to be the alien, but definitely small enough to be another awesome one that I'm happy to have doubles of. It's Orange Bird. And just because um, some people have asked in the comments, Orange Bird, you're not gonna really know Orange Bird at all. Like don't rack your brain from like a movie or a TV show. Orange Bird is the way I think of him, so you know, don't take this like as Bible truth, but he is kind of like an unofficial Disney World mascot. He's really like a symbolism of the fact that Florida is a warm, sunshiny state and grows orange trees. And I think he used to be used a lot more in promotional materials and such, but then he kind of his popularity, you know, died down. And just in the last few years, he's really gotten quite a following. I know I have a really cool Funko Pop of him. He's made his way into more mystery pin bags and I even have a shirt of him. So the merchandise and the love for Orange Bird is really growing. If you would like to say anything that you know about Orange Bird down in the comments below, I definitely encourage you to do so so that anybody who wants to learn more can do so in the comments. Okay, I think this is just, it's just the cutest. And our final painted pumpkin, our final pin of the day. I shouldn't say our final painted pumpkin because I have one box left. I've been just holding on to it because I don't really want to be done with this series. This one feels like it's little, maybe not little enough to be alien, but maybe. Yes, it is. Okay, I have to say that this box had two of my top three characters. The other one being the um, pumpkin Mickey from the, the front of the box. I just think that one is so classic looking, but I really, really wanted a couple extra aliens. In fact, I might be willing to trade like a few of the pins with the set for extra aliens. So I think they would be super cute dotting a pin board. I love this. So the colors we got are so vibrant today with our pumpkins. I couldn't be happier. I feel like our final pin board today looks really strange in the sense that we have like two villains and two of the sweetest little souls you could imagine. I love this. So, oh my God, I have to say that my favorite pin from the top box was Maleficent. My favorite pin from the bottom box, haha, <laughs> it has to be the alien, but it is like so super close. And those of you who know how much I love the alien, you know that says a lot about the, that orange bird pin. And then my favorite overall pin then would have to be the alien. I am so excited. I hope there's another one in my final box, which I will unbox very soon. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the, in the comments down below. And guys, I still have another video left to film while I'm wearing my Target sweatshirt that I love so much. It's so comfy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you real soon.